Are you ready to produce content that's actually going to get shared? So my name is Laurel Porte. I'm your favorite social media strategist bringing you nothing but value every single week with real strategies that you can implement after watching every single one of my videos. And today I am going to help you create content that is not only going to get shared, but content that's actually going to get consumed. So this morning it is actually nice in Phoenix, so I am not burning up. So I'm having my coffee outside on the balcony downtown today. It's a little loud out here, but hopefully this mic is uh, not picking up all of the riffraff going on around me. Um, so I do want to mention that I am doing a mentorship program. It is the most affordable mentorship program I have ever created. It came out of my six week coaching program. So if you want to learn how to do content, you want me to look at your content, you want me to help you build content, you want me to look at your Facebook ads, you want me to help you, you know, figure out what type of Facebook ad you should be doing. I am here to help. I've only got four spots left after 20. I am cutting it because I'm not like one of those coaches that is going to allow as many people as possible into my program. I want to make sure that all of my students have one-on-one -on -one time with me. Everyone has been we're, we've been having a lot of fun. There's a course that goes along with it. I add new stuff to that course all the time. So if you want really in-depth training of what I do, I'm putting that in the course. There's a self-study, there's worksheets, there's daily action plans, there is all kinds of stuff and again, if you thought that you couldn't afford to work with me one on one, this is your chance to work with me. It is, again, the most affordable price. I'm offering it for the first 20 people into my program. Now, if someone leaves the program, I will allow other people to come in. But right now there's three, there's either three or four spots left and it's a super low price. But once my program is completely filled, once someone leaves, the price is going to go up because of the demand, because a lot of people will want to get in on this because I mean, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I mean, I'm gonna be looking at people's Facebook ads. I'm gonna be helping them with Facebook ads. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I'm helping people do content. So anyway, if you guys enjoy my videos and you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, here's your chance. Let me know in the comments if you wanna work with me, but let's get to that poll of the day. So today's poll of the day is how do you prefer to consume your content? Do you prefer to consume your content in video form or do you prefer to consume your content in blog form? Or maybe it's not even blog or video. Maybe you prefer podcast, but let me know in the comments. I'm like, I want to know video, blog post, or podcast. Let me know in the comments and we will get right into writing content that people will not only share, but actually consume. And I say that last point, there's just a funny story. So last week, what I was doing was I was posting a couple of pieces of content for some of my clients. And I was noticing that we were getting a ton of shares, like a lot, a lot, a lot of shares. And one of the funny things is some of the, mo the most popular pieces of content that get shared the most, if you look on the back end at the traffic, like if people are dri it's driving traffic to, let's say a web article, People aren't actually consuming the content. They're sharing the content, but they're not actually reading it. And so sometimes the most viral content, the most shared content isn't even being consumed, which brings us to number one, what's gonna get your content shared and consumed is the headline. How many of you guys, hands up, especially when a lot of fake news was going around during the political election, how many of you guys you know, saw people sharing articles that had a really snazzy headline, but you could tell that that person who shared it hadn't ever read the article because it was like, it was just like satire or something like that, where there was a whole bunch of articles that were, that were like basically, you know, kind of trolling Trump supporters. And they were sharing these articles that were actually bashing Trump, but the headline made it sound like they were pro-Trump. And then all of these people were sharing all of these articles, but no one had actually read the article, what it was saying. And so this applies to you whenever you're sharing your content as well. When you want your content shared, it's like the headline is going to be the make or break point. I mean, more people are reading headlines than they're actually consuming content. And so if you wanna get your content shared, you need to come up with a good headline. Now, a lot of times when people are doing Facebook Live videos, 
they're not using a headline at all. They're just going live. They're not telling people what they're going live about. You know, it's like, that is not going to get your Facebook Live seen. If you want more views on your Facebook Live videos, be very precise in your titles. Like today, I, you guys know exactly what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about how to write and create content that's going to get shared and read, okay? So when you're writing content, Jay Jackson, I see that you're on here right now. Jay Jackson is amazing. He's a fitness coach and he caters to entrepreneurs. If you are into, you know, wanting to get better health, Jay Jackson, he is amazing. He writes amazing headlines. I click on every single one of his videos, okay? So make sure that your headline, it's got to be very specific in what you're doing. Don't like dangle carrots over people's heads. Be very specific. Use numbers. People like three steps, three ways. Like people love lists, okay? Brings me to number two. Also use like adjectives, like, you know, effortlessly. How to write headlines effortlessly. You know, effortlessly. Wow, I couldn't say that this morning. I definitely need to take a sip of coffee. Um, use adjectives, you know, like three effortlessly way, effortless. My gosh, I cannot say that this morning. Oh my God. Three easy ways to get your content shared on, on social media. Wow. It is way early in the morning. I definitely need my coffee. Thank you, Zachary. I think you're pretty cool too. So number one, make sure that you have a very specific headline. Number two, use adjectives in that headline. Is it easy? Is it, you know, effortless? Is it, um, is it yummy if you have a restaurant, you know, yummy? Um, so definitely use adjectives. And number three, okay. This is the tip that is not only going to make people share your content, but this tip at number three is actually going to get people to read your content. Paul, that's a, actually a really good question. Paul just asked, is there a length to maintain so not so long? I like to prefer five to seven words, but sometimes to get the point across, you have to go a little bit further. Like I just like put something in parentheses to headline this video. So just don't overdo it, okay? You can keep it to five to seven words. It can go a little bit longer than that. Use your judgment. Is it, if, if it's taking up three or four spots, you know, three or four sentences on your Facebook Live or on your content line, then you probably shouldn't go that long. But make sure that the headline is compelling and that people will know exactly what they're going to get when they get to it. So number three, again, let's talk number three. Number three, leave some mystery. So did you see what I did in the headline for this video? I left some mystery. Number three is going to guarantee that people actually consume your content. You know, number three is something that you would have never known. You know, like leave some mystery. Like give people a hint over what one of the steps is. And again, leave some mystery just like I did. It made you want to know what number three was, right? You had to click and watch this video to find out what number three was. And so do that in your articles because again, many people are sharing articles just based on the headline. Because if you track like on your back end of your website, how many people are actually consuming the content, it's getting shared like crazy on social media. But are they really consuming your content? And so this little trick at number three, by leaving some mystery, you know, number two, can you believe number two actually works? You know, stuff like that to get people to actually consume the content. So this has been, whew, this has been a hard lesson to do for some reason today. I, I was sick yesterday, so I wasn't on uh, Facebook Live, if any of you guys noticed. But if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. But please, if you haven't taken part in the poll yet, let me know, how do you like to consume your content the most? Do you like videos? Do you like podcasts? Do you like blog posts? What type of con content do you like to consume the most? And again, if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, I have either three or four spots left in my most affordable mentorship program there is. If you guys wanna work with me, let me know. I will send you the link and once 20 people it is filled i am not going to take any more people in until one of those 20 people opt out it's a monthly membership you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me 
We do group coaching. We have a lot of fun. Um, I help them create their business plans. I help them do their Facebook ads. I help them create their content. We pretty much work on whatever you want to work with. So if you want, if you don't want the one hour strategy calls, if you don't want the lengthy group calls, if you don't want to take a course, you don't have to do anything like that. I created this program. It's kind of like an on-demand type coaching, right? Coaching when you need it the most. You don't have to wait for me to respond in a Facebook group. You will have direct access to me using your smartphone so that when you have a question that comes up, I am right there on the other end to answer it. It has been so much fun. My clients actually prefer me mentoring them this way versus getting them on one hour strategy calls versus getting them on lengthy group calls you know, and they definitely prefer doing it this way than just taking a course, right? When people just release courses and something like problems come up, you're troubleshooting, there's no one there to help you. And so I have an online self-study course that goes along with this mentorship. So you're gonna learn everything that my paid clients are learning as well. I'm gonna be adding training, I'm adding courses, I, every single week I'm adding more stuff to all of the trainings. You're gonna have access to all of that. You're gonna have direct access to me using your smartphone. There's no more you know, waiting, posting in Facebook groups, waiting for you know, your coach to answer you back. You're gonna get front of the line service. You're gonna get you know, all of your questions asked. I'm only taking 20 people in so that I can have plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with everyone. It is so much fun. It has been amazing. I will say last night, was we got an amazing testimonial because someone last night did a Facebook Live for the very first time and she got three sales. We kept telling her, you need to do a Facebook Live, you need to do a Facebook Live. All of us were all there working together, getting people up to speed. She did a Facebook Live and she got three sales from one Facebook Live. And so those are the kinds of things that I'm teaching in my mentorship program. So if you want to learn how to produce better content, if you wanna learn how to do Facebook ads, if you want me to look over your Facebook ads, if you want me to help you do your landing pages, your email swipes, you guys are gonna get, you, you guys can actually copy my email swipes if you want, you could copy my sales funnel. I basically let all of the people in my group copy whatever they want from me. I help them change it however they want and it's just been a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do a program like this for a very long time because I do get on Facebook Live I try to do it every single morning because I know that so many of you guys get value and thank you guys for sending me messages. I love getting messages, even if it's just to say, hey Laurel, I watch your Facebook Live every morning, thank you. Like it makes me feel like I'm doing something of purpose. You know, For the longest time, I wasn't getting any messages and so I was kind of wondering whether or not people were actually watching and taking action and then more people started emailing me and it just makes me feel freaking amazing that I am actually helping you guys with your business. Whether you do my free, whether you, you, you'll you never become a paid client, that's okay. That's what these free Facebook Live videos are for. But um, if you guys do wanna become one of my clients and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, I still have a couple of spots available and you know I, I really do enjoy what I do. I'm not a guru, guys, I'm not a guru. I know a lot of people like to label me as a guru, but I've been doing Facebook ads for nine years. I've been doing you know, social media marketing for over nine years, 16 years in the marketing business for television, and this is the most fun I've had in my life. I've worked with celebrities, I've worked on TV shows, I've worked on movies, but the most fun that I'm having right now is actually making a difference in you know, doing these videos and helping people just like you. Like I feel like I finally found you know, what I was put on earth to do and I know that that's getting really philosophical but I do mean that from the bottom of my heart I wouldn't be here you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't truly care you know I would just collect everyone's money and just do so anyway I hope that you guys have an awesome day if you guys do want to work with me let me know I'll send you my link um, I I can't wait to get to know more of you guys as I'm going through and doing more Facebook lives please tell please say hi Feel free to hit me up in Messenger. Tell me a little bit about you. Tell me a little bit about your business. Just because you're not you know, my client doesn't mean I'm not gonna talk to you. You could ask so many people who only hit me up in the Messenger. They're not paying clients, but they still get my help. So, But anyway, you guys have an awesome Friday. It is a long weekend ahead. So you guys, cheers. No, Kim, you are a rock star and you are a badass. Thank you guys. You guys have an awesome day.